This is the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. We're watching some showers and thunderstorms later tonight through the day Tuesday. Want to give you an update on the threat for severe weather across our area. We're watching an area of showers and thunderstorms later tonight through Tuesday. Can't rule out an isolated tornado or large hail, but our biggest concern will be for damaging winds. And we really want people to be prepared for severe weather early in the day prior to sunrise across some areas. And we'll talk about that here in one moment. The entire area is under a slight risk later tonight through the day Tuesday. A slight risk means that scattered severe storms are possible across the region. Here's some timing prior to 8 a.m. The yellow shaded area indicates where the highest threat for severe weather will be. Showers and thunderstorms will be approaching from the north and west. Some question on how much they may weaken as they head toward our area. And that's why we think the best bet for storms first thing in the morning is from the Finger Lakes through central New York. So don't be shocked if you hear some rumbles of thunder first thing in the morning and be ready again to uh, receive those warnings if you get them for your area. Now, during the day Tuesday after 8 a.m., a cold front will be moving into the area, and that will shift the threat for severe weather farther to the south and east, so down towards Scranton and the Catskills. And notice the highest risk of severe weather over toward New England. We will carefully watch that as we head throughout the day, and again, the biggest concern in our area would be the threat for damaging winds. In any severe weather situation, the biggest thing you can do is monitor conditions, and especially this time because for some of you, you'll see storms prior to waking up. So if you have a NOAA weather radio, want to make sure it has batteries in it. If you have a smartphone, mobile device, be sure to check out our NWS widget. We'll always have information on the computer via our website, weather.gov slash BGM. And don't forget, warnings and watches are on our Twitter site, and we do a lot of posts on Facebook, so you can check us out there.